Hey everybody, we're here in the pits in St. Louis. Monster Energy, Kawasaki, mechanic, Ryan Villapoto, Mike Williamson. We're gonna try to profile some mechanics today. Mike, okay, so last week, Ryan Villapoto, no practice for him at all. Very sick stomach pain. How stressful was it for a guy like you? Uh, were you worried? Was there a point where he wasn't gonna race? Uh, talk about it a little bit. Uh, for me, I thought from when I saw him in the morning, we weren't gonna race at all. So. It wasn't really stressful because you just say, okay, you know, no matter what, we're going to give up 25 points maximum. We'll still have the points lead. But, I mean, that's not really what we were thinking about. We were just trying to figure out what was wrong with him and if he's going to be better. I mean, we didn't know if this was going to be a week-long thing or whatever. And I actually spent the whole day at the hospital with him. Um, and, you know, he was in a lot of pain. And, and I was there when it started kind of going away in the afternoon. And he still had a CT scan and had to go through all this stuff. And it really wasn't until about 5.30 six o'clock he decided you know okay I'm gonna race you know and he was trying to start stretching in the hospital and and trying to eat but he couldn't really eat everything he'd eat he'd come back up and uh, kind of trying to force it and you know we couldn't ask for a better result you know if we would have got it went in there and got one point it would have been a win for us and the way he went out there and rode and he said he got a side ache and you know just trying to do the track to the to the bake he wasn't gonna quad anything or do anything crazy but I thought he rode really well were you stressed at all in terms of testing and setting up the bike? Uh, you know, basically the first heat race was your first time on the track. So things that you would normally change during the day, you probably weren't able to try them out. Did that come into play at all? No, I mean, we know what we've done the last couple of races. And, and honestly, we went in the heat race and he only got six laps and we went a little bit stiffer. Um, front and rear just trying to set it up for the track and then after the semi we made another small change and it was it was basically survival he didn't really push at the beginning of the the main event because he didn't know how much energy he was going to have and I thought he did a, a good job managing what he had because at the end he was done but uh, he was able to get two guys at the end and he kind of just kept a steady pace the whole time so we were pretty happy look you've been doing this a long time uh, what we saw in Toronto the gutsy ride by Villapoto do you have, have you ever seen that before? I mean, is it, is it chalk one up for your experience to have a guy never race, never ride practice and then go, to, go out and get a sixth? Um, I don't know. I'd have to think about that a lot. But, yeah, I mean, it's other people have done it, and it's it was gnarly. I mean, especially, like, that track was – it was difficult. It wasn't one of the easier tracks. And, uh, I mean, he's it's hard to beat a guy that won't quit. You know what I mean? He, he wasn't – he was going to do whatever he could to ride and – you know, when he made that decision, he just went for it. All right, for more, check out supercrossonline.com. I'm Steve Mathis. That's Mike Williamson.